As structure virologists, what we do is determine the atomic structure of the viruses and, and then we, the goal is to utilize this to develop um, gene therapy vectors, as I say, is one of the things we do. My lab is interested in looking at um, both pathogenic viruses and non-pathogenic viruses and one of the areas that we focus on is viruses that infect the brain. So on one side we, we work on a preclinical model of a virus that infects the brain, especially the brain of young, um, young adults and young children. And for that virus, we're trying to understand how the virus targets the brain. Uh, what is it about the surface and the interactions that have it target the brain so that we can come up with either small molecule inhibitors or a vaccine um, for treating the brain. On the other side, we have a non-pathogenic virus that is able to cross the blood-brain barrier. And so what we want to do with that particular virus is treat neurological disorders. We are here at the University of Florida doing it because this is a great virology community. There's a lot of people interested in gene therapy. We have clinicians who could take our vectors all the way to the clinic. In fact, we've actually developed a vector that's being used for treating muscular dystrophy in children. I am Mavis Akbanju McKenna, and I'm a researcher at the University of Florida College of Medicine.